Okay, so if you can tell me who you are and where you're from. I'm Caroline Field and I work for Orbit and I'm a generation manager for Lana Road Estate in Erith. And how did you become involved with social media and online uh, activity? Well, at Lana Road, the job is to demolish the estate and rebuild it, and that means over the next few years, the 600 plus households who live there need to move. Some people are going to have to leave the estate, some will be waiting and moving to new houses on the estate. It's obviously a very unsettling time for everyone, and everyone needs to be kept informed. Rumours are rife, people are very anxious about it, and social media just has the opportunity to reach a lot of people very quickly, and particularly the people who are not going to come to traditional resident meetings. So how did you, you realised that there was a problem, so how did you um, go about get, getting it solved? Well, talking to residents, it was apparent that the most accessible way for them to communicate was through Facebook, because those that were online, that was the way that most of them were already communicating. So, so far, that's the main tool we've used, and there's been very good uptake of that. So within a month, we're now on 60 likes and over 120 users of the site. So that's got quite a good reach out of 600 households. Um, next, I'd like to develop a blog, but at the moment, I think the immediacy and accessibility of Facebook is, what, is, what made, is what's made that take off. And how have you dealt with feedback and uh, people t talking on the, on the site, on the Facebook site? Have we dealt with it? Mm. Well, we check with it every day and we try and get back to sort of every reasonable query, as it were. Um, lots of rumours come up, and they're sort of quite fun, you know, because some of them are just like one of the towers is supposed to allegedly tilting and about to fall over. So it's quite a fun thing to do is to pick up on all the rumours and scotch them there. There are lots of queries about the practicalities of moving and what people are entitled to. And though, of course, it's not really the place for confidential personal queries, a lot of the queries that people have got are relevant to other people. And if they raise them, then we can deal with them there. And the other interesting thing is if people complain about the deal they're getting, for example, it's often their neighbours who tell them not to be so unreasonable and that the deal's OK and they shouldn't be greedy or whatever. So there's, there's actually an element of community debate there. It's not just about people asking all the things. There's starting to be a bit of interactivity there as well. Um, and um, you mentioned uh, the, 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 the poster site. That's the device mm. that you use. Um, but you also use multimedia elements that can be easily used in, 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 uh, in posters and on Facebook. Would you yeah. like to tell me a little bit more about that? Well, you can shoot a video on one of those flip phones like the one you've got there now and you can upload it in just about two minutes. And even I can do it and I'm hopeless at anything technical. I can't even answer my phone, but I can shoot a video and upload it onto YouTube. And I think it's something about accessibility, because especially young people, we know they're using more and more YouTube. And whereas to me, if I've got something to explain, it comes more natural to me to write a few paragraphs down. Um, I know that a lot of people these days are getting their information on video. And so if I use that media as well, I'm going to be accessible to more people. And of course, people who don't find it very easy to cope with the written word. So, um, I take it your experience has been a positive one. Yeah. Um, how would you like? To, would you like to see it rolled, in, used in other communities, or used across the the orbit group? Well, I think the things we've been discussing today show the potential to roll it out more. Um, I think it's going to take time for us to find all the potential for it. It's also about finding time on the day job to do it, because you know there's so many ideas and so much, t so little time. So I think it's going to be a bit of the time. Once we start doing it, I think it will just become part of the normal day's work and. And it won't seem like an extra, it'll just become part of the normal way we work.